Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Stubmasters Reviews. I'm here to give a quick trailer review for the second official trailer of Alien Covenant. Uh, guys, this trailer looks even more exciting than the last. We get more alien, we get more action, uh, we get more of a creepy vibe. But the one thing that I have to address here, and it's I guess it's notable, is it it looks like it might be a little tonally inconsistent. What I mean by that is the first trailer looked like it, they were going to go back to uh, Ridley Scott's horror and more of a slow burn uh, thriller uh, roots from the original 1979 Alien. And in this, it looks like it's going to be more like Aliens in a way. It looks like it's going to be more of a blend. It's very explosive. There's a big scene at the end of the trailer that, the trailer that reminded me of a Star Trek movie involving someone being... Um, literally swung around off a spaceship and they're trying to climb on and I'm like oh man you might as well have the Michael Bay quick flash and then cut to the title card um, but that just kind of threw me off a little bit but the thing I did like about this trailer is that we get to see more alien and the alien looks great it's been a long time since we've actually seen the alien in um, modern with modern technology so it looks really gruesome it looks disgusting it looks great Everything looks very, it looks fast, and I love the way that they portray its motion. Um, maybe it's giving, they're giving away a little bit too much too early, but I thought it looked great. As for the plot, there's really nothing much else. Uh, it's very similar in terms of footage, and there's nothing uh, really new to talk about uh, other than confirmation that everyone on the ship is, um, are couples, which was confirmed in the interview anyways, but this is the first on-screen confirmation that we got. So with that being said, I'm really excited for Alien Covenant. Please, let us know what you think in the comments. There's a lot of buzz about this movie, and I hope it lives up to uh, the name. I really enjoyed Prometheus. Some people didn't. I just hope that it at least reaches the heights of that film and maybe even exceeds it. And so far, it looks like it probably will. All right, guys, I'm Jonathan with Stubmaster Reviews. Have an excellent evening.